Hi, what's up guys? It's PS360 HD2 and today I have a different video for you guys. Um, it's kind of a response video. It's a response video to anime analyst uh, video called Mike Guy vs. Pain. Who would win? Alright, so spoilers, but in the video he claims that Pain can defeat Mike Guy. Specifically, the argument is going to be mainly 8 Gate Guy versus Pain. Now, me and my boy Mystic Watch, say what's up. Alright, so me and my boy Mystic Watch don't quite agree with his assessment. So we are doing a response video on why we think my guy would in fact defeat Pain. So to kick it all off, I'm going to throw it to my guy Mystic Watch to list a few abilities uh, for Guy and Pain. So uh, take it away, Mystic. So First, we'll go over the abilities before we start going over any of the discussion on who would win. So let's start off with Guy, right? First of all, biggest thing, he knows no ninjutsu or genjutsu. He is a taijutsu specialist, right? Yep. And his main, I want to say main, like, he is known for his gates, right? The eight gate ability. The ability that is known to surpass the Hokages, right? It was said to surpass the Hokages by tenfold in strength. So that's the eighth gate, but still the just the ability of opening gates, right, is so unique that guy has. And with each ability, we start seeing some new moves that he, you know, shows off. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have like the primary lotus uh, and things like that, the reverse lotus. But I don't think those will really be taken into account in this battle. But things yeah. like the fourth or fifth gate, guy can use the hidden lotus. Sixth gate is where it starts becoming a little bit, I guess, more interesting. We get the morning peacock, which, for those of you who don't recall, is the technique where he kicks and punches, you know, numerous rapidly, numerous amounts of times rapidly, and they're so fast that the sheer speed turns the, uh, the punches into flames, right? And this ability was you know strong enough to stun the sixth uh the six tail beast uh Saiken. Yeah. Yeah. The midday tiger, or also known as Hirodura, is what he used against Kisame. Against uh, you know their huge fight. And it is by releasing a it is like it is not ninjutsu, right? That's like the biggest thing about it so it is uh it's like pressure it's air pressure Pressure. yeah that's it's essentially what it is it's built up air pressure and he released it with a hand seal and uh cool thing like we we can prove it's not ninjutsu because kisame did a counter move to it right he did one of his uh shark bomb style jutsus i can't actually remember them but uh he yeah. stated that his jutsu would absorb the chakra of guy's jutsu and then yep. It proceeded to say that you know this is not a ninjutsu yeah. so that is a you know big point that we're gonna bring up later the seventh gate uh, doesn't show any new techniques but the eighth gate is where um, you know things are going a little bit crazy we get the evening elephant which is uh, the first thing guy uses against Madara in their fight in the <coughs> war arc and the evening elephant is a assault of five punches right and that they're referred to as each foot becomes performed faster than the one before and for example the first foot or the first uh punch was strong enough to create a like i guess a crater i don't know how it there's no like Dragon size to it it's just a massive and deep tunnel in the ground yeah. right and the final punch was actually strong enough to break through madras chakra shell which is part of the truth seeking orb, so we'll go into that uh, later. And his most, uh, I guess, precious ability, right, would be the night guy. It's the final, it is a kick. It is simply a kick, right? But the form he takes when a put like, this is the final ability he uses, and it's, I guess, it, but he goes into this stance where he emits an enormous amount of chakra, and then it's, he has like blood vapor rushing through him and then it says he, he dashes he dashes forward with such an extreme speed 
that the space around him bends. And uh, it, it's kind of funny because, you know, like the anime doesn't line up with real life stuff, you know, like the yeah. science isn't always there, but let's say this was real for a second, right? To bend space, you have to be going faster than the speed of light. So, the speed of light, guys. The speed so, of light. Of course, they're not going to just not like, if they were to show that in the anime, you'd literally see nothing. But yeah. So for effect, it doesn't seem like he's going faster than the speed of light. But just the fact that they say, like, it, it's in chapter, like, uh, it's somewhere between chapters uh, 667 and, like, 672. Yeah. Where it's written. So he goes faster than the speed of light, and he just kicks Madara. Simple as that. But the power behind it, it's like... It's devastating. Yeah. Yeah. Obliterates the target's body. All right, so... Now that we went over or listed just uh listed so far guys abilities let's list and talk about pain's abilities real quick and then we'll get into the meat of the discussion of why guy would be pain so go ahead take it away mystic so now here with pain we're we're not referring to nagato right i believe we're talking, uh, we're about, only the... talking about the six paths of pain exactly we're not talking about uh, nagato. Uh, the ones controlled by nagato right because uh the six paths of pain are also controlled by obito which are the six okay, Turkey, yeah. but yeah. they're Nagato's six paths of pain, but we're not referring to Nagato himself. Yeah. So the first, I guess, and the most uh, known pain or the renounced pain is the diva path. The uh, yeah. one who is in Yahiko's body or like takes the form of Yahiko. Yeah. He's, uh, his signature jutsus are uh, Almighty Push and Pull or Shin Shinra Tensei and Bansho Ten Tenin. Yeah. And then you also have the uh, Chibaku Tensei, which is the uh, also known as planetary devastation, where it's like he uh, he creates a body that attracts all matter to it. It's like a black sphere he creates, and it's enough to like you know tear like mountains out of the ground and things like that. So that's how strong that is. Now the next path, also known as the Asura path. This is the one where, this is the weaponry one, or the mechanical one. And, like, the, what the Asura path allows the person to do is, uh, like, grow about four, I think four extra arms and two extra heads, and have yeah. abilities to just super advanced weaponry. weaponry. Yeah. So, it's like, you'll see, like, rockets flying around, just sharp, uh, sharp blades as a tail. Uh, there's also a chakra blast cannon. That. A lot of a lot of weird shit. Yeah. A lot of weird shit. This one's a little yeah. bit weird to go over, right? Yeah. You have the after that you have the human path, which yeah. um, has the ability to take the soul of a body, and that soul can provide intel. But the problem is, uh, taking the soul out of the body kills the target. So it is also a killing move. Yeah. The next path is the animal path, and this path, uh, this. Pain can uh, is just summons right summoning jutsu, but Pretty the much. the known uh, animals that have been uh, summoned are a bird, so like a drill beak bird. You had a multiple headed dog, a chameleon, and a ox, rhino, uh, like a crab or a crustacean, and a centipede. And this path also has the ability to summon things other than that, like a. Uh, Conan was able to be summoned, and the other paths of pain were able to be summoned. Uh, that's how they got into the into Konoha the first time, right? They were summoned from one pain. Yeah. So those are the well, the the animals that I mentioned were the only animals that we know that oh. this pain can summon. Yeah. The next path and the no second to last path is known as the Preta path, and this is the one that absorbs ninjutsu. So essentially, it's this path can absorb chakra, and the other thing that they can do is uh, create a barrier. Yeah. Right? And that barrier can absorb chakra from all directions. The last path, the Naraka path, is the path that can summon the King of Hell. And this King of Hell can do two things, interrogate and restorate, like restore, so restoration. The interrogation part is where if presented in front of the King of Hell, if this if you refuse to give up information your tongue will be cut off and therefore die or if you choose to give up the the uh information 
uh, you live, but you're, it's like severely exhausting or something. And the biggest, I guess, that's just like the one part, the other part, the restoration part is like, I guess the most important part is that the ability to restore any pain back to full, like just what? brand new, right? No, no signs of injury, anything, like good to go, 100%. All right, so that covers Payne's abilities. So let's get into the discussion, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, so now that we got the techniques and abilities out of the way, we're just going to discuss why we think guy, eight gates guy, would in, in fact defeat Payne. All right, so one of the main reasons why I feel guy would absolutely destroy Payne is he's simply too fast in eight gates form. Uh, I just don't see how Payne would be able to keep up or stop Guy when he could barely keep up with Sage Naruto when he first showed up on the field. So what do you think, Mystic? Do you agree that Guy is just simply too fast for Payne to uh, deal with? So I don't even think that 8, eight gig Guy is like too far, right? So I think Guy is plenty strong enough in either 6th or 7th gate to take on Payne, right? But uh. Speed wise, uh, I don't think so. Guy, like, there's nothing to reference Guy's speed to, unfortunately. But, um, besides the night guy itself, but all we know is that, uh, each gate on release increases his strength, his, uh, his strength and his speed, right? So each gate increases his speed. And we're talking about Guy who, without a single gate, right? As we can see from Rock Lee, his training, how fast the Taijutsu specialist can be. All right, we're talking about I can I'm pretty sure Guy, right, like without any gates, is faster than Sage Mo Naruto. Yeah, he is. I agree. Guy's so top five speed characters easily. Probably top three. Yeah, so like I feel like Naruto only starts getting fast when he unlocks QB mode. Yep. Right, that's where we start seeing little flashes. We compare it to like Rei Kage, for example. Yeah, I mean, not but he didn't have that then, right? So yeah. I feel like Guy could still Guy is still faster than that with his gates. So like non-gate Guy is um, faster than Sage Mo Naruto, pretty sure. So that's like the speed aspect, right? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Continue. Oh no! So I was gonna say like uh, that's just like that's the biggest part. Where it's like speed. So like, Pain has six pads, and a big yeah. point was like, okay, they can you know gang up on him. You know, there's six of the them. Shared vision. Right? Yeah, the shared vision aspect of the running gun. So it, I don't think yeah. it really matters because you said it plenty of times before off camera where he's just so fast that you can see him. Is it gonna help you? Yeah. You. You can see him coming, but if you're not fast enough to get out the way, like I compared it to like uh, standing in traffic, you can see a car coming at you, but if it's if it's going 100 miles an hour, you're not getting out of the way. So what can you do? It's like you're gonna get hit. So that's what I compared it to. Uh, even though the, the shared vision would help in a normal situation, we're talking about the fastest, possibly the fastest guy alive in the Naruto-verse. So. Yeah, it's, it's not doing anything, so. But now that we got the speed fact out of the way, let's move on to the next point. Guy is a Taijutsu specialist. Now, the reason why this is a huge factor is that Pain is known for not being um, susceptible to ninjutsu and for the most part, genjutsu. Uh, I do know that, uh, you know, Jiraiya hit him with the uh, frog song jutsu. But that's a special case, and there's not that many uh, strong genjutsu users out there. So, pretty much, pain uh, is really susceptible to only taijutsu. I don't want to say only taijutsu, but that's really the main thing you have to use to defeat uh, pain due to the path that can absorb all genjutsu and chakra etc. So, um, uh, can you expand? Maybe I don't know if you can add anything else to him being like a taijutsu master, but. Uh, well, Maybe you can right. speak on it a little you bit. You said it before, right? Yeah. The biggest thing is the um, Preta Path, which is absorbs ninjutsu. And if we take a look at the Sage Naruto versus uh, Pain, how many how many Rasengans, how many Rasen Shurikens were absorbed, right? right? The man was just constantly throwing them out. Every single other one was just absorbed. So 
the fact that it can't be absorbed literally renders that pain useless. Pretty much. Pretty much. Because, as you said, right, um, he, uh, Hidodora, it's a uh, midday tiger, and uh, arguably, no, even even elephant and night guy, they're all, they're not ninjutsus. They're all taijutsu based attacks. So, all of guys' big hitters can't be absorbed or stopped by uh, the 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 Prada path, right? That's that's what it is. Yeah, the, path. Yeah, the Prada path. So, pretty much, guy has an advantage right off the bat, um, and not and, and it's not hindered like most other uh, ninjas. Like Naruto, most of Naruto's big attacks were all based on ninjutsus. All of guys' huge attacks are based on taijutsu. So that's another advantage for guy. And then, so if we start comparing. All right, I guess the level of the abilities. So, like I said before, Morning Peacock was able to stun a Jinchuriki, right? Six tail Jinchuriki, for that fact, right? A six tail Jinchuriki, yeah. And then Midday Tiger or Hiradura was the final blow on Kisame that that guy used. And Kisame is no like you know like just regular ordinary ninja. The man took on Killer B and lived. Yeah. And he was com and he was compared to a tailed beast, his chakra, his chakra level. So that alone is like crazy. Then you have yeah. evening elephant, which is just like I that's like overkill, man. If you watch One Punch Man, I feel like that's what yeah. it's like. The man's just <laughs> Yo, evening elephant is legit a Dragon Ball Z level move. It literally it's is. Creating craters. It literally is. Stomping on the dude with air pressure. And think about it this way, right? Like the diva path almighty push right like like what is it a set like you know like when you look at it you see like the force of it right almighty push isn't you know um, as the name implies like almighty uh how many people took that hit and lived right H hinata sage naruto a bunch of fathers in kanoa like a lot of people don't realize like they overhype that move a lot because it's not a killing blow it just pushes you back with a lot of force that's that, that's all it is, because um, yeah, even Shikamaru survived. He just what he had like a broken ankle yeah, or some it. crap like that. Yeah. So it's so. like. It it's a grav it's like a gravity, manipulating technique, but it's uh, it's like there has to be a limit to it, right? Yeah. All right. If it was so, so amazing, I don't think he would lose. And then the other downside to it is that between each, uh each like almighty push or pull there's a five second interval five seconds yep. like the man can go like take a you know like go drink some tea have a nice like workout <laughs> still come Pretty back much, yeah. like, he, he needs like a split second yeah and then not only that to use the the omega uh the giant shinra tensei he has to deactivate all of the other pain bodies so only the diva path uh, would be viable and that technique took a lot of setup like i don't know if he was just showing off or like he was just giving a speech or something, but he had to float up in the air. Yeah, it just seemed like it was it was a lot of prep to uh, get that technique started. So that's another huge downfall. The fact that he had to look, the fact that he has to deactivate all of the other paths um, would leave him super vul vulnerable to guy. Think about that. And then not How only vulnerable. that, it's like uh, he had to for so while the duration of I guess after he used it. The diva path himself couldn't use moves for so long. Yeah, right? oh, like yeah, while I the, about while the that. other yeah. five paths were fighting, the diva path couldn't move. Right, he was just yeah. he, he he was just attacking without any jutsu. Yeah, he had to wait for his powers to return. Yeah, that's another good point. And so, then, um, um, I guess uh, the next point that we should bring up is the Chibaku Tensei or Planetary Devastation. So this move, this move as well is also uh, I don't want to say overhyped, but the the one that the pain slash Nagato did is overhyped. So continue. this move was, it essentially creates a gravity, like a mini gravitational force or like orb that is strong enough to like, it has such a strong force that, you know, it pulled, it was able to, or at least like Sasuke's version was able to hold all the beasts, but we're talking about like pain here, right? So it was able to hold Naruto in until he had to go like full, like full on literally eight tails mode. Right, just to not even break out. He didn't break out till after he went back into his normal sage mode. 
So like that's how strong the uh, the, the move is. But you got to remember when Nagato used it uh, as Edo Tensei Nagato, the move was broken right by uh, Itachi, uh, Killer B, and Naruto. And it's not like like the second he uses it, like you know that's an instant death. Like it, it's gonna pull you up. It's like it's in the middle of the sky, right? You got some time before you reach the the center. So people were saying that, um, or like the biggest point was that he won't have time to you know use his moves or anything, or like it's out of character for a guy to uh, start off in his gates form. But the thing is, let's say he he's no gates whatsoever, right? And Pain uses Shibaku Tensei. The man has, I don't know how much time, dude. Like, it took like two minutes of like anime showtime just to reach the top. But in his fight against Madara, uh, Guy can, Guy literally went uh, seventh gate from nothing instantly. And this was like chapter 670, I believe. Uh, no, not even. It was like 667. Well, either way, he went to seventh gates instantly, right? So he has the ability to go that far. And that alone gives him access to. Uh, Midday Tiger or Hirodura, which is a move on that capacity, right? That one of the abilities that was able to destroy planetary devastation. Now, let's say for argument's sake, that doesn't work, right? He has to go eight gates to get out of planetary devastation. He literally, the, the method of going to eight gates was him touching his heart with a stump. With a, a stump. Right. Instantly. I, Damn. I don't like... think that guy would run out of time, right? To to not be able to touch his heart with his thumb before he yeah. reached reached a planetary devastation. Yeah. And so, even an elephant would completely just shred the Chibaku Tensei apart if we're talking about power scaling. Because look yeah. what it did. It caused a huge crater in the Earth. Like, it would just shred the, the, the rocks in the core. All right. so, and it destroyed yeah. Madara's orb. And that's a really big thing to point out, right? Because that orb, that chakra orb, is yeah. itself the truth seeking orb which is yin yang release if you guys didn't know or the purest form of yep. ninjutsu so every yep. jutsu is derived from yin yang release which is why it can negate any ninjutsu but guy was able to he he didn't break it himself like he didn't punch it but what he did was his final evening elephant punch uh hit madara and, and then, then the sent him through through his it. own barrier from the other side yeah. right yeah. so that's where it broke it yeah. And that's not like the man was like the man could eat like beast tailed beast bombs with that yeah. like uh barrier. Another so. another another point I want to bring up too is that uh Payne's bodies aren't that durable. Like six paths Madara, he was basically like Majin Buu. <laughs> like levels of durability, but the pain bodies themselves have been taken out by low level uh ninjutsus before. Like, Kona for example, <laughs> Konohamaru, who, yeah, exactly. For example, Konohamaru defeated or t took out one of the pain's bodies with a mini Rasengan. Come on, guys. Like, what would even an elephant do to uh, pain's body? It would literally be a stampede. <laughs> it would not be pretty. Literally, it would be a stampede. He took Most out, of the... Yeah, he took out the Asura path, the mechanical path, with, with uh, the gi giant Rasengan, which is not much bigger than a normal Rasengan. He defeated Deva Path with a Rasengan to the stomach. <laughs> so, like, you gotta think about it. Pain bodies aren't that durable, man. So, uh, so let's see. The now we have the fact that, right? Yeah. The pains can't catch up to to guy, right? He's too fast. The ninjutsu path, or like the the absorbing path, the as, uh, which one is that? The Preta path. Sorry. Uh, is useless. Now, let's talk about the other path, right? The Naraka path, uh, the one that summons the King of Hell. The thing is, for that to be useful in a aggressive manner, they would have to catch Guy, which uh, that's not happening. The only thing is the restoration part, right? So, I still believe Guy is fast enough to take out... If this path goes out first, Right, there's no restoration. So every every pain that dies after that is gone. So if he can take out this path first, which I don't think they have the ability to stop him really. But let's say, right, he takes out that path, he can take out the you know us uh, the Prada path, a, you know, known in jutsu. Uh, let's talk about the animal path. 
So this is where we're going to bring in the morning peacock, right? This move was able to stop a like a tailed beast, right? Six tailed beasts. And you're talking about just summon ju right? Like I don't these beasts aren't on the equivalent scale of of the summoning beasts aren't on the equivalent scale of tailed beasts. Yeah, if if guy in Kakashi had no problem going head to head with seven it was seven, right? Yeah, it was seven tailed beasts. You really think a bunch of fodder summons summons will do anything to Guy? And Guy wasn't even in eight gates form when he fought the uh the uh tail beast. So just imagine what he do to those summons. Come on man, straight fodder. They would get destroyed. So the human path still it's 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 all these like half these paths need like guy to be standing still to do anything. Yeah. Right? Human path is not gonna like rip your soul out while you're going like Mach 10 literally the speed of light yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then of course then, we have the uh, uh asura path that's just a freaking robot like literally <laughs> come on man it's like diva path is like the main right he even in like the show like all the other paths were secondary to the diva path and we pretty much went over the repulse like attractive force and repulsive force. oh the the only the only thing we didn't cover is the Bancho tenning, but I feel like do you really think it's a good idea to pull this man <laughs> to, in to pull this man towards you? I, I I don't think it's a great idea because you gotta remember, I don't believe unless uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not that Bancho tenning doesn't paralyze you. It doesn't keep you from moving. It pulls you towards. It it can just pull you in, but it doesn't actually stop you from moving. So nothing was actually stopping Naruto from moving until Pain pinned him to the floor with those uh the, the black rods. So you pulling a Taijutsu god <laughs> like like guy towards you is just a bad this idea. Man, just gonna bad dynamic idea. entry your face. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, you're just gonna increase the speed, the speed of a dynamic entry to your face. Yo, you're right. Exactly. But uh, okay. So, like, right, those are the. The Bansho Tenin and the the, the Chibaku Tensei uh, and the sorry the Shinra Tensei. I'm trying to think. Okay, so let's put into example like how strong these these people are, right? It's not just like their moves, right? We can't just like you know let's like Konohamaru knew the Rasengan. That doesn't mean that Konohamaru's Rasengan is on the same level as Naruto's Rasengan, right? These character these ninjas have their own respective power levels. So that's like a big point that I wanted to bring up. So. Another thing that I want to bring up is that the Rinnegan, right? A user of the Rinnegan has access to all of these abilities. Now, during the fight between Guy and Madara, Madara never rarely used any of these abilities. Right? I don't even think he used any of them. So he had access to them, and we know this because Sasuke's, uh, Sasuke's Rinnegan, Sasuke uses uh, Chibaku Tensei, Sasuke uses, um, I think, Bancho or both both Bancho and Shinra Tensei. Uh, tensei. Uh, so it's like, we know we know he has access to them, but the thing is Madara chose not to use them because think about it, Madara has his own abilities, right? And if for some reason, like Madara is a smart dude, right? We're not he's, not, he's not dumb by any means. If he chose not to use the six paths of pain ability, most likely we can assume that they weren't going to work on Guy. Yeah, pretty right? much. Or they weren't yeah. going to be useful against Guy. Effective, yeah. So Sorry. that's just like one thing to bring into effect. Now, the yeah. other thing is that while Madara was using Evening Elephant, no, sorry, while Guy was using uh, Evening Elephant on Madara, Madara himself said that he believed he was going to die. Yeah, pretty much. Straight up said it. He actually said he was going to die if he, uh, if he wasn't. That was after Night Guy. Okay, that was after Night Guy. Yeah, right. my bad. Yeah. But <laughs> now, we're not talking about just Madara, right? Madara alone, right? Like Edo Madara's most likely stronger than pain we're talking about jinchuriki madara ten tail jinchuriki madara all right this is the power level we're talking about right now and now let's say everything didn't work for whatever reason you guys want to believe and it came down to night guy final move something that can literally you know in the manga it says bends and distorts bends space and distorts time distorts space and bends which whichever one it was uh now that's how fast it, and it literally obliterated half of Madara's body, and he would have been dead if Hashirama cell didn't exist. Yep, he would be dead. R.I.P. Like so, and like mean. I said before, like they don't line up anime and real life science, but he had to be going faster than the speed of light to light. do something like that. 
I don't think nothing Almighty yeah. Push is gonna do anything Stop to that. Stop that. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be like a glass window. He's gonna go right through it. Like shatter literally. But um Yeah, we, we we've laid out our um uh, uh facts and some opinions on why we believe that pain I mean guy would in fact defeat pain. Um let us know if you guys agree in the comment section. Let us know what you think. Um do you have any rapping points or you know words you want to add? Uh, Mister? I'm trying to think, but I think we about covered everything. All right, so you know, let, let's let's just do one last summary of why we think Guy defeats Pain. He's too fast. Um, taijutsu specialist. Taijutsu All of his specialist. moves are taijutsu. All of his moves are taijutsu. And the power of those moves are, I guess, underrated. From and the power of like Pain's moves are overrated. And we kind of explained how. Uh, how he could get out of each of Pain's moves, right? So, I really like all of Guy's moves. For some reason, kind of fit really well into this aspect of beating Pain. They're almost like it a does. counter to Pain. It does. When, when you like just read off what they can do, it's like, oh, you know, he can use Taijutsu. Oh, yeah. look at that! Pain yeah. can block everything but Taijutsu. Yeah. All right. So it's like it's it's kind of funny. Yeah. So but I don't think I have really <laughs> anything else. All right. So. Um, so yeah, tell me, let us know in the comment section, do, do you agree, um, with me and Mystic that 8 Gates guy would in fact destroy Pain, or do you agree with Anime Analyst that, uh, uh, guy takes the, the L to, to Pain, uh, this is PS360 HD2, and my guy Mystic Watch, definitely check out his channel, I'll leave a link to it in the description, peace. Peace out.